Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today we take a look at Buzz Lightyear from Disney Mirrorverse. What is it? I actually don't really know. Like, literally, I really don't know what this is. All I know is that it's a mobile game, and hold on... Okay, Disney Mirrorverse is a upcoming crossover mobile role-playing game. The game features evolved and amplified versions of Disney and Pixar's characters and combines RPG with combat and fighting gameplay. Thank you, Disney Wiki. Disney Mirrorverse is weird because of how little we know about it. We know it exists, it released in a few countries, and for some reason, McFarlane Toys, that's right, THE McFarlane Toys, the toy company started by the creator of Spawn and the co-creator of Venom, released a Disney Mirrorverse toy line. And of course, I had to buy them all. And since the Lightyear trailer came out recently, and it just looks amazing, I decided we're gonna start off with Buzz Lightyear. So, let's get right into it. Take a look at the packaging. It's like your typical McFarlane Toys packaging, if you're not used to it, it's basically the exact same but of course with a disney mirrorverse twist on the bottom it does say that he is buzz lightyear and a ranged so that's something related to the game on the side we have this somewhat weird art of buzz lightyear and on the back we have this really cool art of disney mirrorverse and with the other figure you can get ignore the other card and a ad for the game which you can't download so yeah let's take a look at the figure Here is Buzz Lightyear out of the packaging. Let's quickly take a look at the accessories because he does come with four, technically five accessories. One is already on the figure and that is this backpack. This backpack is actually a separate piece. As you can see, there's kind of a seam line there and there. And up top, you can kind of see that it's split there. But yeah, this comes separately out of the packaging. It's two separate pieces and it's such a pain in the ass to put on. It is really, really hard. But uh, once you're able to get it on, it does complete the figure, as you can see. I missed the spot right there we go. Yep, that is the first accessory. The second accessory is this card right here, which is a card that comes with all the Mirrorverse figures, I believe, or at least with the 7-inch ones. And it's a card of the character. Here's Buzz Lightyear, Mirrorverse. And on the back, it shows what he is, which is a range, his stats, and a bio that says courageous and dutiful. Buzz is far from your average plaything. This brave Space Ranger's supercharged suit is outfitted with an arsenal of the latest Star Command tech, including lasers and an arm blasting arm cannon and as you can see it's a pretty nice looking card i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it or not but i really do like the card there's the art again which is kind of weird not gonna lie he also comes with a rather basic stand there's really nothing interesting going on here there's no like nice little detail with dc multiverse stuff he has like a little dc logo here there's no logo which kind of sucks i really wish they had like a mirrorverse thing but i'm completely fine with having just a blank stand as opposed to one with a logo the last thing is actually two accessories which I kind of counted as one and that is these wings they are exactly the same but you can plug them into this side here that is upside down and you can just plug it in after didn't even go in so after you just wiggle it in it looks really nice but now taking a look at the actual figure I gotta say the sculpt is absolutely fantastic I love this design for Buzz Lightyear it's kind of like a modern version of Buzz Lightyear and I absolutely love that there's these nice sculpting details I just really like this design in the game and also in real life it looks really nice and actually uh, if you look at the face here they did a better job representing Buzz Lightyear than the actual game his face doesn't really look that good compared to what he looks like there this one i uh, yeah kind of bad this one though is kind of good i actually really like this face and the sculpt overall is just fantastic i love the way this figure looks and for the paint detail it's kind of hit or miss in some areas there's some really nice paint detail but on the sides here looks all right but inside just looks that just doesn't look good and same on this side as well there's some errors there and there it just is very hit or miss with this figure which really sucks i don't hate it kind of like creates the effect of since he's a space ranger he's fighting bad guys and doesn't really have time to fix his suit so i'm kind of okay with that like make that excuse but in reality it's just, just very hit or miss all right so hi i just finished filming the review and i just found out there is some weathering detail there i don't know why it's just there it's nowhere else on the figure it's just right here i i i but it is not a bad figure it looks really nice on the bottom here it looks very nice it's, it's a very nice looking figure now for some problems before i get to the articulation this arm is very very loose compared to this arm which isn't like super tight but it's not loose enough to where it can't keep a pose as you can see if i keep it there it keeps its pose while here it just kind of 
falls but taking a look at the articulation there is quite a lot of articulation which i really like about this figure the head is on a ball joint and he can look down about that far and up not really at all for his torso there is a ball joint at the top and at the bottom so he can look up about that far and can look down about that far he can move side to side and of course twist side to side a lot of movement i really like that for the arms they can move all the way around and can go out about that far also there is a hinge in there as well it doesn't create a lot of movement but there is a hinge there there's a swivel up here there is a singular bend which is on a ratchet Type joint and also back here this thruster can move up or down can swivel side to side as well as move up oh, that's down can move up and down and on this side instead move up and down kind of a bit on the angle and for the legs are those McFarlane toys joints which I don't have a problem with but I know some people do and they can move forward about that far can move back about that far and out about that far i also forgot to mention that at the upper part of the legs can move side to side there is a singular bend at the knee which is also a ratchet type joint and for the feet they can move forward about that far back about that far can swivel side to side and their toe unbelievable yeah the articulation is overall very nice for a sculpt like this i absolutely love the articulation now let's do some little bit of size comparisons shall we So overall, I think this is a very nice figure. Sometimes the paint detail is hit or miss, but the sculpt is fantastic and the articulation is pretty good. So yeah, I highly recommend you pick this figure up now. Let's take a look at Jack Sparrow. Then the children boogie.